you know, a game that we needed to win. You know, we needed a bounce back game, and I thought we had a response in the first period. Second period, uh, we scored two goals on our, our two shots. They responded, and uh, you know, I liked some of the things our team did. You know, we, we blocked more shots. We uh, we got in shot lanes, uh, defended a little bit better in our in our D zone, and um, so you know. Having lost the last two, we, we just needed you know a confidence boost, and I thought our our uh, our guys uh, played well here tonight. And although there's still some things that we can work on, it gives us an opportunity to look at the video and, and continue focusing on things we got to get better at. Um, but a nice win, good to uh, obviously the power play and penalty killing, um, you know, which have been strong all season long, continue to uh, be good for us. And you know, we killed off four, and then you know obviously we we got four. And, and, Including you know at the end there, um, with the five minute major. So, um, thought you know, Connor Murphy was really good in nets. Gave us a, you know kept us in there when it was tight and you know and, and we, as I said we responded in the third period. So um, you know there'll be a different team again tomorrow night in our building and we're gonna have to come ready to play um, you know on uh, on Saturday night. But uh, we'll take three points and get ready for tomorrow. Questions for coach. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say, you know, you talked a little bit about the confidence boost. Um, how important is it? Um, you know, how important was the win for the confidence boost and uh, moving forward, I guess? Yeah, no, it was big. I mean, you know, when you lose a couple of games in a row and both were at home, of course, and, you know, you, you lose, it's, you know, it's a confident group, but you lose a little bit of that swagger, you know, a little bit of that, you know, attitude. And so, um, you know, you can bring it back in practice. We had a real good week of practice, but it needs to manifest itself in the game. And, and that's what it did here tonight, you know, and, uh, um, you know, we did some good things out there and, um, you know, five on five and, you know, that maybe don't show up on the score sheet that we did well. Um, but again, as I said, there's enough out of that game that we've got to do better at. So it's nice when you win and then you can focus in on things that we still got to get better at. And, um, and um, but it was a good, as I said, you know, Scored six and got some guys going who hadn't scored in a little bit. Uh, you know, McDonough, who's been snake bitten a little bit, and it was good to get him going and um, took in the power play. So, um, you know, it's going to be a tougher game tomorrow night, but we're excited to, you know, get going there tomorrow. Coach, uh, Kesslering at the beginning of the year struggled a bit, but, you know, since then he's really grown into it, particularly on the offensive side. Can you talk about what you've seen from him the past few weeks? I mean, because I don't think I've ever seen him handle like that, like he did tonight. Yeah, you know, it, and, you know, Michael's been solid all year for us. Um, you know, and, and then this year he, you know, provided tonight I should say, you know, provide some offense, and you know, he, he's getting a little more opportunity on the, on the power play. But his game, you, you know, is defending um, and using that long reach and transitioning pucks quickly, making smart and quick decisions with the puck, and you know, and he did that. And you know, then it's nice to get rewarded on on the power play also. You know, he scored a big goal there. That third goal was a a big goal for us because we, we hadn't had much going in the third period, excuse me, in the second period. And, you know, and he made a real good play to, you know, get us to three to two. So it was a big goal, timely goal for us. And, but, you know, his, you know, and we still want him scoring as much as he can in the power play, but his, um, you know, his strength for us and, and, and how he can contributes to us is going to be, you know, in his five on five play and his man down play and, uh, and, and, uh, you know, you know, just being hard to play against and defend quickly. And, you know, he's done, he's doing a good job with that. Do you have any update on uh, Marco Bozzo? I know he's a little shaken up there at the. Uh, yeah, it was a tough hit he took, you know, and uh, certainly a blindsided, unsuspecting, and um, you know, one I'm sure the uh, supervisor will, will will take a look at. Um, he's doing better, and um, you know, we we escaped. Uh, he escaped a, a major blow and got him high in the chest area. So, um, you know, we're hopeful that uh, he'll be able to play tomorrow night. And then I uh, do you have any update on Colangelo. Colangelo is day to day. He won't play tomorrow, uh, but we're getting close and, and targeting hopefully the following weekend. Coach, can you speak a bit to how your team responded so well tonight after going down early and giving up the tying goal? I mean, you guys came right back, got some goals in very quick succession in both periods. Yeah, no, that was a great response. And we liked how the team did that. And, you know, so, you know, because we've been down some games and really haven't fought back hard, but I thought we did a real good job. One was on the power play, of course, and then, you know, five on five. And uh, so real good response that way. And again, those are confidence boosts also for your club uh, when that happens. So uh, those were, that was a, it was a, a good, 
we played with purpose after going down one and, and no, there was no panic and we still had a little bit of swagger there to say, okay, we're okay. Let's just keep bouncing and, you know, working hard and we'll get the next bounce, which we did. Uh, coach, you guys uh, played against these guys a month ago and won seven to nothing. But I mean, this is a completely different team. They came in off of a huge overtime win and they had the momentum. How did you prepare for that? We had a good week of practice, I mentioned, and you know it wasn't so much preparing for them as much as it was getting our, our own game in in order, and that's what we did. You know, we focused on areas that we needed to get better at, and um, you know our, our kids you know really worked hard this week, and we had a lot of battle, and um, you know it was good to see how we responded here. And certainly, you, you focus in on you know some of the tendencies the other team does, but. Um, you know, for for us, it was about getting our own game in order, and that's what I thought we did. Coach, uh, talking about Riley for a second, I mean, last year he only scored once. This year he's been in much better goal scoring form, already up to six on the year. What, what have you seen from him that's been different from his play last year? Well, he's 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 getting to the scoring areas more. He's shooting the puck more. He's got a real good shot. Uh, he's stronger. He's fighting through traffic more, and so he's in those scoring areas. So you saw him on the goal, and he's got a good shot. And he, you know, he's just ready. You know, and he's got that year under his belt of experience. So um, I, whatever that was tonight, six six goal or seventh, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, but he's you know had a lot of good looks, and he scored some big goals for us this year. So um, you know, want to keep, and there's still more there. He's you know he's continuing to get stronger. He's got a real good skating stride and he's quick and uh, handles the puck well. So, um, you know, he's just, he's just, he's just, you know, he's getting better at his game all around game, which is good to see. And we need him. He's a big part of our, uh, our team. Was there any reason you put uh, Fontaine back with the Jackson brothers tonight? Uh, was it because of injuries or you just like that line together? Well, A, we like the line together. B, there is, you know, Colangelo is out, so we reshuffled things around and, you know, um, and so just trying to get a little more balance and they've played well together. So we thought that, you know, they could give us, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, some jump offensively. And um, so, yeah, and they, they like playing with each other also. So, you know, when three players like to play with each other, you, you, as much as you can, you, you want to put guys in a position to be successful and that's what happened.